So in this video, we're going to do a 15mm mild steel plate with a 40 degree angle single V prep with a knife edge nose. So we're using E6011 cellulosic welding rods, 2.5mm using 60 to 65 amps. So the aim of the game is to create a keyhole so that we're penetrating metal out of the back of the joint, but we're trying to control the size of the keyhole because if it gets a little bit too big, then we'll have too much reinforcement on the back side of the plate. So we control the heat input by flicking the rod forward, allowing the weld pool to solidify slightly and then coming back into it just to maintain the right penetration through the plate. So that's root in, we're just running off now onto our runoff plates and that's run done. So there's a picture of a finished run, so we've got a nice little bead, nice and consistent. So moving forward, we now grind back. A lot of people don't do this, but we always do just to make sure that you've got no slag or anything that's going to possibly give you any troubles when you put that hot pass over the top of it. So moving on to the hot pass, because of the width, we're going to split this into two runs so that we're controlling the heat so that we're not over penetrating or overheating that root run, potentially disturbing it on the other side, either sucking the actual metal back or overheating it to the point where we blow a hole through. So we're using E78 to fill this up when we're using 3.25 diameter welding rods. So first run done, moving on to our second pass. Now we've left ourselves enough room to be able to get the rod right into the bottom of that crevice so that we are fusing the metal, we're not trapping slag in a very tight area. So we're just moving slowly along, filling it up, fusing into the top plate, into the bottom of that joint, creating a nice flat hot pass. So working our way down, as you can see, the rod angle there slightly pointing up. Two runs, hot pass, nice flat, no slag inclusion, no tight areas. So moving on to our second layer. So we've already put two runs. This is the third run of that layer. I would have been able to show you the footage of the first two runs, but unfortunately someone mentioning no names <laughs> has deleted the footage. But anyway, moving on. So our rod angle is 45 degrees, 15 degrees drag angle, keeping the slag at the back, just controlling that weld pull. What we don't want to do is we don't want to put this run too high that we end up with the right tight section as we did with the hot pass up against that top edge. So this is where the boredom sets in because you're just literally laying run after run, rod after rod, just filling that prep up. So that's run done. Another layer in, nice and flat. So now we move on to our flushing run. First run's in, second run we're just laying run after run, but we've got to make sure that when you put that first run on your flushing run, that you don't put too much in, so that you can still see the side of the edge of the prep to give you something as a guide to be able to follow when you come to cap. So on to our final run, keeping that rod right in the bottom of that gully, making sure that you're getting that slag out of it and behind your well pull, because if this is a well test, obviously the x-ray will find any areas of slag or lack of fusion that you put into this plate. So that's coming to the end, we're just running off onto our runoff plate and that's run done, flushing in, moving on now to our capping layer. So first run as you can see, you can still see that edge that we've not burnt out when we flushed, so we've got a nice line to be able to follow for our first run of our cap. We have to make sure that that first run is straight because that leads us into our second passes. If we've got deviation on that first run, the likelihood is that we'll follow it on our subsequent runs. So on to the next run. We're laying it on the top so we're covering half of the run underneath using the same angle, same technique, keeping that rod close in so our arc length is nice and tight, keeping the slag at the back. So as we're using 7018s, just remember that electrode connection needs to be put into the positive because we need two thirds of the heat at this rod because as you know with the 7018 the flux on these rods is very thick so we need as much heat to be able to burn that rod out. If you're ever not sure what polarity to run the rods at it will actually tell you on the packet all the information you need to know such as the guidelines for the amps used for the rod and what positions the rod is designed to be used for. So now we're moving on to our second to last run so we're just covering it we're just about catching that top edge but we're not going to be able to finish it in one run. We're going to have to put another rod on the top of that just to get rid of potential undercut. So just to recap, we've used 115 amps all the way through this test. 
using our 3.2 millimeter welding rods we're now going to put a 2.5 millimeter 7018 over the top we'll be running that on about 85 amps just to fill in that top edge so that we haven't got any undercut on the top of that prep so hopefully this video will help you master horizontal stick welding we recommend you check out our vertical plate test on screen now to help you progress further in that wonderful world of manual metal art welding we hope you found this useful and we'll see you in the next video